What's happening guys? How you doing? Sam from Walkgate Studios here. I hope you're well. Um, today I am going to be um, doing a little demo on how to do effects like this on the sword that I did on one of my Ultramarine guys. It's a kind of cool little technique that you can use to do anything that's kind of like burning or hot or something like that and it's just a fun little demo really to, uh, for, for using some different colors and getting some different effects from it so the the first thing i wanted to kind of go through is the paints that i'm going to be using um so i'm just going to be using uh, some of the paints from the pro acryl range and i'm using the burnt red bold pyro red orange and then golden yellow i'm also going to be using a little bit of coal black right at the end just to do those uh those little little bits on there but um yeah i'm really going to sort of show you quickly how we build up the layers and um get it looking good so i've got a demo sword here an ultramarine sword that i'm going to do it on and i'm going to start by putting a little bit of burnt red on the sword and uh, just with my airbrush this is super super easy you can use this as a wet, a wet blend um with with normal brushes but it's super quick super simple um and i'm all i'm using is uh a hardener steam Beck evolution um to get a little bit in this these paints work really really good i'm just going to do one drop because that's all we need in here and i'm going to literally get that paint flowing through here there we go and i'm just going to little do a little bit of work on the end of the of the sword with the dark red and i'm also going to do it at the base if you want to do this before you kind of do any of the detail work on the the base of the sword but it's a super super fine little little way of uh, of getting some dark red on there so that's that's the dark red i'm also i'm going to kind of put another coat on this um the opaqueness on these these paints is really really good but i do like to be it to be a nice dark deep red so i'm just going to darken that up a little bit with another little coat okay awesome and then i'm just going to grab a little bit of putty and stick this in there to dry i'm actually going to make sure i did the sides as well because that's an important part of it totally forgot that so yeah sides of the, the sword and when they're done get rid of the remes remainder of that drop give a little bit of a wash out on the on the airbrush and spray that out and then we're going to keep some of that paint not we're not going to get rid of everything in there and then we're going to put some of the bold pyro red in there and this is gonna we're just gonna do one drop of this into the airbrush and then we're gonna grab our our sword and we're gonna make sure this paint's coming through there we go and then i am going to gently build up that red on the sword and do the sides Awesome. Okay, so that's the next step we're going to do. So we've got the um, dark red going into the light red, and I'm going to shoot this through. I'm going to keep a little bit in there, and I'm going to grab my orange, and I'm going to give this one drop in there as well. I'm going to shoot this through. There we go. Uh, this is the best thing about this paint it can go in and it's beautiful and I'm going to put the orange right in the middle of this and kind of blend it right in the middle and kind of blend it so you can kind of see now that it's like an orangey sword um, and I'm just going to make sure there's enough room because you want to make sure that you've got your dark light red and then the orange and then I'll need a little bit of room in here for the yellow 
So I think we're good on this side and we're good on this side. I'm just going to make sure I get the sides. And you don't need to be exact on this because at the end of the day, this is going to be a burning sword. So you want to make sure this is good to go. And then I'm going to shoot the rest of that out. Okay, I'm gonna get most of this out because I want uh, as bright a yellow in that in that first part as possible. So I'm gonna give this a quick shake. And pop one drop of yellow, more than enough. Get this shooting through, so we've got the yellow. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be really exact here. I'm gonna get my flow on the on here, and I'm just gonna literally put it right in the middle of this orange. And you'll start to see this building up. Nice and gentle on these layers. And this will get you that final. Kind of burning. type effect on here. Just so we got that in the middle. So you can kind of see, this is what it's gonna look like eventually, but this is where we're at at the moment. And the good thing about it is, is if you think, ah, oh, do you know what? Maybe the blend's not good enough, or I've gone over a little bit. See, I'm happy with that side. That side's all right. And I'm gonna give this a little bit more in the middle to give that a nice little glow in the middle. This one's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm alright with these. These two these two look pretty rocking, both sides, and I'm good with that. So that's all of our airbrush done. I think now you want to like wrap up the airbrushing and give this a quick squirt through. Get all of that colour out as much as possible. With uh, Harvard and Steenbeck brushes, they are really, really easy to sort of maintain, but I'm gonna just get my little brush in here, give this a quick clean out, always worthwhile, and you can kind of see how murky that water gets, and then we can just squirt everything out that we've been working on. All that, all that orangey, yellow, reds, and everything else will come out. And we can give this a deep clean at another time, but as far as this goes for the moment, Good, and there'll be a little bit more paint that comes out right at the end. Beautiful. All right. Excellent. So that's that's our airbrush done, and we're we're completely finished with that. Now, what we need to do is get those little black edges um, that you can kind of see in the um, on the sword there. They're just the little black edges and we're, all we're going to do is just be, be really gentle along the ridges of the you see this one this sword has got a ridge that runs right the way down the middle of it um, which is great so you can pick that out with a little bit of black this sword hasn't but it has got some little an edge to it so i'm going to be really really gentle and work on that edge as well when, once we've got this sword sort of done so i'm going to grab myself a little bit of this coal black and just a random old base to put a bit of paint on. And we just want one drop on there, not too much. And then all I'm really gonna do is just get, get a, a really a, a re reasonably fine brush. And then I'm to start off by just going down the, uh, the edge of the blade, really gently, just randomly picking out little bits on that blade, irregular. And that's gonna be our start. I'm also gonna do the same on the other side. This is just, just to kind of get that impression of, of, uh, of kind of chipping and those sorts of things. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm, along the blade line, I'm also gonna do the same. and just run it down, gently kind of pushing it around. 
and seeing what sort of effect it gets. And then you'll kind of start getting that kind of burnt feel to it, which is, I think, really, really cool. Um, but you can just, just literally use the side of your brush and start picking out little bits. Um, it's it's an interesting little little uh, kind of thing that I've been working on, and you know you can f find those edges with the black, but just run it along. to give it that that kind of burnt blade type look and feel and like on fire and for that I'm kind of happy it's pretty good and then you can also if you really want to kind of go crazy there's also going to be little bits and nicks and stuff like that in the blade itself so you can kind of just go into the color on the main bit pick that out and that's really where we're at with it. It can kind of look a little bit interesting, give your models a little bit more ooh factor when people are looking at it. But I kind of like it and it's simple, easy, and you can knock it out pretty quick. Um, but again, it looks good. It's, uh, it's an effect that you can kind of work on. And once you, you know, especially on, on models that aren't that color, you can also change up the colors and do it for elsewhere this one's a little bit more muted this one's a little bit brighter but yeah really you know enjoyed enjoyed painting these and coming up with these ideas but um but yeah there you go uh appreciate y'all for for watching thank you very much um if you like this sort of uh, little demo please like and subscribe and uh yeah i'll uh, i'll see you soon for another video cheers